Hey there, I hope you're doing well today and that you're making sure to practice good hygiene in light of the current events with the global pandemic. And because sports events around the world have been cancelled, I thought I'd make a special list for you viewers who are more athletically inclined. This list features the top 10 sports anime and there's literally something for everyone who has a different sporting interest. It may not be the same as seeing your real life players, but believe me when I say that the following anime stay true to the spirit of their respective sports. So get yourself hydrated and do your stretches because this list is going to work you out. To begin our exercise session, we'll start off slowly with a bit of cycling to get our legs energized. Yamushi Pedal is an anime by TMS Entertainment that features the sport of competitive cycling. But funnily enough, the protagonist of this anime, Sakamichi, didn't start off initially wanting to be a cyclist. See, the premise of this anime is that he was an otaku who wanted to join his school's anime club, only to find out it was disbanded and then tried to revive it on his own. Now, when that was a bust, he went on a round trip on his custom-built bike, which caught the attention and awe of his classmate Shunsuke. Being the cyclist enthusiast that he is, he he challenges Sakamichi to a race on the promise that he'd join the anime club if he won. From there, the boys' combined determination sets them on a ride to glory. Freshen up and put on your best evening wear viewers because for our next workout we take centre stage with some dancing. Now I bet a lot of you are surprised to see Welcome to the Ballroom, but believe it or not dancing is in fact a competitive sport. With styles ranging from square dancing to break dancing to the traditional dances of various indigenous people, this is actually a universal sport. But we're talking about a particular style of dance here and that is ballroom dancing. A shy middle schooler who's happiest when he goes unnoticed, Tatara was being picked on by some bullies when the dashing professional dancer Kaname comes in to save him. He even invites the boy to visit his esteemed dance studio and shows off his skills. With that chance encounter, Tatara, who was initially unmotivated with his life, finds his calling and begins to put his best foot forward along with fellow classmate Shizuku to become a professional dancer. <laughs> Switch out those dress shoes with some gym shoes because now we're gonna hit the tracks. You have to walk before you can run and if you tumble you gotta pick yourself up and get back in the race. This saying is pretty much the premise and life story of our next main protagonist. Gageru is a down on his luck former ace runner of Sendai Jose High School. From losing his apartment deposit in a polar game of Mahjong to being caught shoplifting at a convenience store, things aren't going great for Gageru. But when a fellow university student named Haiji sees the former ace's agility in action, he offers him a place to stay at an apartment along with eight other students, to which Gageru accepts, only to find out it was a bait and switch plan by Haiji to get him to join the Kansei University Track Club and participate in the Grand Marathon. But the issue is, the other six residents in the apartment aren't only complete running novices, they don't even want to participate in the race. It's an anime where dreams are neck and neck with reality as Haiji strives to realize his dream to enter the marathon, while Gageru works to regain his fire. Now that we've got our legs and core worked up, it's time to get our arms in shape with a bit of good old fashioned pugilism. Originally made in the golden anime era of 2000, Hajime no Ippo or Fighting Spirit in the English title is a real good coming of age underdog type boxing anime. Before he found the ring, young Makonuchi Ippo was a meek weakling that couldn't defend himself and was always running errands for bullies who would later beat on him. He did want to change himself but he wasn't sure how. Then one day he got his answer when he saved from his bullies by a famous boxer known as Takamura. This encounter stirs up inspiration in him and Ippo asks Takamura to train him in boxing. However, the boxer doesn't think Ippo has what it takes to become a fighter and gives him an impossible task to complete within one week. Driven to become stronger for himself and his mother, Ippo sets off on an empowering journey that will change him for the better as he punches his way to the top of the boxing food chain. Because just like they say, true strength comes from within. 
Now, I bet the build up to this list has made you work up a sweat, hasn't it? Well, luckily for you, this next series will just cool you down a little bit while keeping you on your toes, literally. Yuri on Ice is the very first anime to showcase the sport of figure skating. From the dazzling costumes to the emotion invoking reactions of the characters to the ethnically diverse cast of skaters from around the globe, Mappa Studios delivered a well received new anime to the sports genre. As per the title, this anime is about Japanese ice skater Yuri, who suffers a a great loss at the Grand Prix and loses his drive and his figure due to his depressive eating of his family's delicacy of pork cutlets. Anyway, upon returning home to re-examine his options, a video of Yuri performing a skating routine done by five-time Grand Prix champion Russian figure skater Victor goes viral. So viral that it reaches the eyes of the champion skater himself. Charmed by Yuri's skills and seeing great potential in him, Victor takes it upon himself to become the Japanese skater's coach and whip him into shape in order to win the next Grand Prix. Now, it's not an easy road, but with support from his friends, family and his renewed passion burning bright, Yuri's determined to make the most of his second chance to win the gold. Okay, we've got our bodies in tip-top shape through the first half of this list. Now it's time to go the distance and make a home run with our next anime. <laughs> before a baseball anime came along and that anime finally came in the form of Diamond No Ace. This series follows the life of a left-handed pitcher named Arjun Savamura. In his middle school baseball game, his team suffers a crushing defeat when the batter misses his stray pitch. The team vows to reach the national tournament in high school and he's approached by someone who may allow him to fulfill that vow. A scout from the prestigious Seido High School invites Arjun to join the school after taking notice of his unique style pitching. After being encouraged by his classmates, the southpaw pitcher agrees. Though he feels a bit out of place being among such skilled baseball players, Agent vows to become the ace of the team. But he has a rival for that title in Satoru, a right-handed power pitcher whose fastball and forkball throws earned him a spot on the starting roster. But Agent's more than ready to step up to the plate in order to become the ace. And you best believe that this balling anime throws all expectations out of the park. Kind of thing. All I'm interested in is feeling the water. It's my skin. Next up, we have free. Don't settle down just yet viewers, this time we're hitting the waves for the fourth workout on the list. Now this particular anime holds a special place in the sports genre because it showcases equal parts of the slice of life genre. Once upon a time, Haruka, Rin, Nagisa and Makoto were all best buddies with a shared love for swimming, but they all ended up moving away after graduating middle school. Upon meeting again in high school, Haruka and Rin have a less than happy reunion, with Rin viewing Haruka as a rival instead of a friend and proclaiming that he'll excel beyond him in swimming. This pushes the now trio to form a swim club to partake in an upcoming tournament. However, they need a fourth member to do so. In enters former track team member Ray, who was recruited by Nagisa. With all of the players in place, the group form a close bond as they train hard to become better swimmers while Rin and Haruka set about settling things between each other. Be ready for a lot of blood, sweat and tears in this inspiring sporty slice of life anime that's sure to leave you in awe. As we wind down our workout, we're going to hit three different chords for the last three anime on the list. And for this, we hit the tennis chord. Considered the sport of kings, Prince of Tennis started out as a manga that later got adapted into a popular anime by Trans Arts that debuted in 2001, then came to an end in 2005. And recently, they added a stoic tennis prodigy from the west of their roster. His name is Ryoma Ichizen, who aspires to become the greatest tennis player in his country and finally get out of the shadow of his tennis legend of a father. <laughs> Prince of Tennis has a lot of story arcs that showcase Ryoma's inspiring journey to become a top-tier tennis player. It's just like seeing a real-life promising player make a name for themselves and just work their way upwards. And with the support of his friends and teammates, Ryoma is sure to get there. Our second chord exercise features a universal favourite that's captured the imaginations and admiration of people everywhere. And of course, I'm talking about 
basketball. One of the things that make Goroko no Basuki such an interesting sports anime to watch is how, unlike the majority of protagonists in sport anime, Tetsuya isn't incredibly athletic like his teammates. He doesn't even shoot to score any points when he plays due to him being much shorter than many other basketball players. However, what he lacks in strength and height, he makes up for with his ability to move around the court unnoticed in addition to his uncanny skill at passing the ball to other players that can shoot without fail. This earned him the name of the Phantom Sixth Man during the time he was a part of the Championship Junior High basketball team known as the Generation of Miracles before he parted ways with the team after graduating. Now Tetsuya attends the underdog Seirin High School along with another new recruit fresh from the US known as Gargami who's a very strong basketball player. Combined with Gargami's prowess and Tetsuya's unsurpassed passing, they become a force to be reckoned with as they shoot for the stars to become the very best. And to cap off our workout, we're going to have our last court exercise. Yes, we're talking about Haikyuu. Often viewed as an unassuming beachside game for families, volleyball has a lot more contact and effort put into it than you'd actually think. This peppy sports anime is about Hinata Shoyo, who despite being on the short side, can jump to heights that almost exceed the level of his love for volleyball. This love was so great that Hinata not only revived the volleyball club in his middle school, he actually managed to bring his team to a tournament. Sadly, they didn't get far when they got dealt a harsh defeat by the king of the court known as Kageyama. Hinata swore that he would surpass Gageyama and worked even harder to improve his volleyball skills. Years later, he goes on to join the volleyball team of Garasuno High School and is stunned to see none other than his sworn enemy Kageyama is one of his teammates. Initially, the reuniting rivals get along as well as, say, a mongoose and a cobra. Eventually, though, they stop to take a moment to find some common ground to work together and later manage to become friends. Haikyuu boasts superb and exciting animated playing scenes on the court as well as impactful emotional moments off it. The series proves no matter how many times you get beaten, you can always get better. And with that, our list comes to an end. Are you pumped up and ready to watch these anime? Are there any other sport anime that you know that I've missed? Let me know in the comments section down below. Like and share this video if you enjoyed watching it, and also hit the subscribe button and ring the bell notification icon to be informed about all of my future uploads. Until next time, otakus in arms, stay home and stay safe. See ya!